everyone, my name is Robin from HeydayGuides.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a ton of coins in Heyday. Plus, you can make, uh, find a lot of um, bond expansion items, silo items, land expansion items, dynamites, uh, saws, axes, everything. Um, but you know, you can turn everything into gold. As you can see, I have almost 400,000 coins. You can make roughly about two, tw uh, 200,000, I wanted to say no, 20,000 coins a day. It depends on how much time you put into it and how much of the items you sell. Um, so how are we gonna do this? We're gonna do this by wheating. What is wheating? Wheating is actually planting a whole lot of uh, wheat, as you can see here, and then we gotta harvest it. Um, and then planting it again, and then harvesting again. Um, as you can see in my shop, I sell them at a price of one coin. Which is not really the thing that makes you money, obviously. Because you can sell weed for a lot more, but I sell it at one coin because it sells fairly quick. Um, and since we will be planting and farmesting, um, farmesting, harvesting the weed, um, like all the time, you silo is gonna build up with a lot of weed, and you want that weed to be sold quick. So you don't look at the price of that. So I'm gonna show you right now how it works. I'm gonna first harvest all of this weed. We get some XP as well. There is and saw going. Um, let's see, if we get something else this time. No. Um, you know it varies what you get. Um, how does this work? Why not doing sugar cane or strawberries or anything? Uh, the reason not to do that is because it grows a lot longer. You get more XP, yes, that's a thing. Um, you get just one XP, I believe, from wheat, or two XP, I, I'm not really sure. I gotta check it uh, when I harvest again. Um, but one or two XP at each time. Um, but it doesn't matter how many or what you harvest, every X amount of fields harvested gives you an extra item. Um, I believe it's something like about 50 fields or something. I don't know how much I have, let's see. I have 70, sometimes I get like two, so it could be, it's probably a random number, but I think it's between, let's say, uh, 30, 40, 50, around that range, you get an item. Um, and then I'm going to the shop, of course, to my roadside store, and I'm gonna sell these for one coin. And they will be sold fairly quick. Um, doing this, I got a lot of things I recently upgraded, but here I have a lot of nails already again. Uh, the wooden panels are building up. Screws, yeah, sometimes, you know, as a player, you get one item a lot less than the others. I have that with screws, as you can see. And the barn I in a expanded it today um, I had a lot of balls I had like over 40 balls uh, almost 50 I believe and you know this is what I got like uh, from playing a couple uh, a little bit um, oh we got a chest over there um, and also um, these yeah I just <laughs> bought this one so um, it's maybe not the, the best time to uh, to record this video but you can get a lot of things. One thing I can show, uh, this lady is asking for axes. I have a ton of axes, uh, 50 or actually 49. Uh, I'm not gonna sell them. Uh, the other lady over there wants some wheat. That also occasionally happens. If you have much of something, um, they will uh, ask for it. Now we only got an axe. I actually wanted to show uh, some good stuff coming in. Uh, let's see, do we have enough for it? No. Wait a moment, please. Um, in that time, I'm gonna take care of my bunnies over here. And my horses. Now, if you wanna, um, you know, I have real problem with this. Um, with the animals, not the animals itself, but, uh, thinking about which one I should buy. Because, now that it comes, why? You buy them with vouchers, and you have this menu, you should watch it. Then you go to the shop. Probably almost forgot it. You gotta go back. Now you gotta scroll down totally again, and gotta 
compare if you can buy it or not. So that's one problem I had when playing this game. It's not about the, the routine thing right now. But uh, there's a simple tool on my website, hdguides.com, um, where you can just enter the amount of uh, vouchers you have. And it just tells you which animals you can and can buy. And it's just updated because in the, the latest update we got the black bunnies, I believe. And it was the black bunnies and that's one uh, that one is on the uh, site as well. Let's see. As you can see, the weed is already sold before the other one is growing. Oh yeah, of course, you need to wait uh, for another advertisement time. Um, you can also do it with corn if you would like it. Um, you know, if you are online like for an hour straight, do wait. Why not? Because you're there. But if you want to check like every five minutes or every ten minutes, use corn or carrots instead if it's easier for you. You know, that doesn't really matter. But you know, choose. You know, choose wheat if you have. Uh, don't. You know, if you're online for quite a while. Uh, just got a shovel there and some nails right here. Um, I'm gonna plant something again. I'm just just doing it what I usually do when doing this. And you make can make quite a lot of coins in a day. Over here, when such a lady comes by, they give you a lot for the weed. So that's a real good opportunity for you. Instead of you know, selling it at one coin. Also, a thing you can do is... Um, Put a lot of the wheat in uh, and make bread of it, you know? Because bread sells for a lot more than just the 10 wheat for one coin. Um, I don't know if I have a lot of bread right now, but I believe 10 bread sells at a price of uh, 360 coins. So that's a lot more than you usually uh, make of you know, selling it at one each coin or 10 wheat for one coin. That makes you a lot of profit and it sells fairly quick as well. Um, let's see, is there any other things I want to uh, talk about? Um, as you can see, uh, these items sell for 2,700 coins and the land expansion items for a lot more. You can definitely get 10 land expansion items in a day maybe more you know it depends on how much time you obviously put into it um, also a good thing if you sell those I usually sell them when I have like uh, 30 of each or something you know and then sell a lot of it at a time like 10 of those 10 of those 20 of those and 10 of those again you know and then a lot of people um, ask to you, you to be your friend in heyday which or they they follow you and you get a lot of visitors occasionally on a day so when you're selling something or need help for your boat orders a lot more people are friended to you and um, those orders get filled much much quicker it's not a good uh, thing with it there's a land deed over there so you see um, you can get a lot of cool stuff with it um, with wheating uh, you can make a lot of coins doing this. It's okay, it's maybe not the most fun thing, but in the meantime, you're waiting those two minutes, you can, um, you know, take some eggs over here and uh, do other stuff, you know? Or just visit your town for a little bit. It doesn't matter if you're not here, like, if the weed is growing and it stays there for a minute, okay, you didn't lose a lot of time, so... Um, but this is a really good way to, to make some money on Heyday. I use it. As you can see, I like to decorate my farm a lot. Um, I spend a lot and a lot of coins in it. <laughs> um, most of uh, the decorations are right here because then I bought a lot of paths and then I was, no, this doesn't look good. Let's buy like 50 other paths and occasionally, you know, after time to time, the price uh, goes quite high with those uh, paths over here. But I like to do that and, uh, you know, you need coins for it. It's as simple as that. And through weeding, it's a good and good, a very good way to do it. Um, but I want to wrap up this video for you guys. Um, go check out heydayguides.com for more guides, uh, more videos. Um, but also, the pet stool which I talked about uh, in this video a little bit. 
So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and um, I will see you in another video. Goodbye. Hey guys, I just forgot one thing which is really um, nice of doing it with corn instead of wheat. Um, since the advertisement time or uh, the times between you can put up a new advertisement is five minutes, corn is really good to do because it takes five minutes to grow. So you never actually have too much of it and plus corn you can sell it pretty good at the price of 20 coins for 10 corn and carrots match price that works uh, it has always worked for me but just choose your price a little bit uh, do what you feel right with you know if you, if you can sell the wheat at 10 coins for 10 pieces or choose five then you make five times more money than selling it at one. But you know, if you don't like the time that's been sold, if it takes too long, go longer. If it's just you know really really fast, but it could go a little slower, maybe increase the price a little bit. You know, just play with the with the price a little bit. So this is just what I use always. Sometimes you know I'm just in a hurry and I don't wanna hold this button for too long and I release it at some point and it's three but it's it sells you know but usually I would go for one coin for ten wheat so um you know choose the crop you want <laughs> but don't uh, really <laughs> please don't uh, do sugarcane or something like wheat corn carrots that's just the best you know check every once in a while every ten minutes and then um you will be rich in no time. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Goodbye.